Welcome to Dark Horse Workshop, everybody. My name is Magnus, and today I'm diving into an in-depth comparison of the three main 40-watt diode laser engravers on the market today, the Creality Falcon 2 Pro, We Create Vision, and Xtool S1. And hey, if you want to help support this channel even more, I have links in the description of this video to all of these lasers where I get a small kickback at no extra charge to you. Thanks. Xtool has been leading the charge with diode lasers for a while now. Ever since they rolled out the D1, which was fully put together, they've kind of been the kid in class that everyone's trying to copy off of. The S1 model shows up at your door, basically ready to roll. Just plug in the power supply, add the laser head, and you're good to go. I have to admit, it's pretty satisfying to open a box and feel like you didn't accidentally sign up for an IKEA-level construction project. WeCreate takes a page from Xtool's book, the Vision arrives mostly pre-assembled, add the power supply, attach the laser head, you're good to go. But the Vision also has more moving parts than either the S1 or Falcon 2 Pro, which has led to some issues with the earlier 20 watt model of the Vision. So just make sure you do your due diligence, check reviews, and make sure they've solved any technical issues that were becoming a little bit of a big deal for a while there. And then there's the Creality Falcon 2 Pro, which takes anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half to set up. And I'll admit that I took the over on that one. I like to think I'm reasonably tech savvy, but a touch of humility here. It took me way longer than I expected to set that laser up. And given the price of the laser, maybe that's just not a big deal for you because it's much cheaper than say the S1. Now each laser handles precision a little bit differently. Both the Creality of Falcon 2 Pro and We Create Vision have cameras that kind of get a little iffy around the edges. They're not perfectly precise. Now the x 2 S1 doesn't have a camera, but it has a twin point positioning system. And that positioning system means that it's the only laser of these three that I would trust to be perfectly accurate. And that's saying a lot given that it doesn't have a camera, but really it should have a camera. But I guess since it was the first of these enclosed out lasers, I'll give it a pass. But I feel like it should have a camera still. So my honest thoughts about the camera are that people on the periphery making a decision on what laser to get are going to see that this S1 doesn't have a camera and it's going to be a deal breaker for them. But if you've used lasers for a while, you will know that's probably not a deal breaker for you. For somebody like me, where I take scraps of leather and toss it on my laser and the camera kind of roughly gets the right spot and I cut out my piece, the camera is a pretty big deal, honestly. Like, I love my camera. But being able to be precise if you're a manufacturer with something like the S1 where maybe you've taken a wallet and you want to put an image right in the center of that wallet, it's really easy to get that done without any kind of weird jig or anything on the S1. On top of all of this, remember that if you are manufacturing and you are putting in, say, a full piece of leather to the maximum size of your cutting area into any of these machines or whatever material you use, positioning system and the camera no longer matter. For instance, I have a stack of leather pre-cut to the size of these beds, and when I want to cut out a few of a project, I just throw that in, and it's good to go. I don't have to worry about precision or cameras. So next, let's look at each laser's work area. The Creality Falcon 2 Pro has a generous work area of 15 and 3 quarter by 16.34 inches, which is ideal for larger projects, and one of the main reasons why I love this laser so much. I'm building a lot of armor, and that size really does a great job of offering many different options for the size of the pieces uh, in my patterns. The WeCreate Vision is slightly smaller at 16.54 by 11.42 inches, and the Xtool S1 provides a similar area overall to the Falcon 2 Pro. It's just a little narrower and longer with a work area of 19.61 inches by 12.56. All three handle thick leather, really well with the 40 watt power, so you'll notice faster cuts and less charring. The X-Tool and WeCreate both have autofocus. The Creality does not. You have to adjust your laser head to the appropriate focus. Not a complicated procedure, but you have to do that. Right away, the WeCreate and Falcon 2 Pro handle rotary attachments without any significant changes to the machine itself, other than like needing to attach the rotary part to these machines. Now the WeCreate Vision seems like it was almost built with rotary tools in mind. Like it's perfect for it. The auto leveling and auto focus on that machine with the rotary attachment, 
works lovely. So that's something that you people that are interested in doing that rotary stuff more should really think about moving forward. Now, because of Xtool's proven track record, I'm sure the S1 does great when you're utilizing the rotary attachment, but to do that, you also need a riser base for this machine. That means more money. And with Xtool, everything is a, at a little bit of a premium. So more money on top of more money is what I would say to that. All of these lasers have integrated air assist and a pass through panel for longer materials. The Falcon 2 Pro is the only one that does not have Wi-Fi connectivity. And as of the making of this video, the Creality Falcon 2 Pro is the only one of these lasers with a 60 watt option, if that interests you. On top of that, all these lasers have a range of options from 1.5 up to, well, 40 mostly, but the 60 for the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. And that includes the S1 has an infrared module, I think, one and a half watt for engraving on metal. Something that I haven't tested from Xtool that I just learned about is that they have a screen printer accessory to do merchandise. I have merch now on my website through Printful, but it would be interesting to do your own stuff out of your workshop or home. Uh, could be pretty cool. I'm interested to actually go check out other videos after I've done doing this video specifically on that screen printer because I think it might be a really cool thing to add to my workshop. Lightburn is the software most people use, but the Xtool S1 and We Create Vision both have software of their own that's really beginner friendly and I enjoyed working with it a lot. The Creality Falcon 2, you have to use Lightburn, which isn't a huge deal, but it adds a certain level of both precision and complexity to your project. Now, the We Create Vision and the S1 both can use Lightburn, but I find that if Perhaps you have a, a child that you want to introduce to one of these lasers, something with a more basic um, software package like the Vision or S1 would be greatly beneficial. It's certainly the time of year where there are a bunch of sales on everything. I have a bunch of sales. We Create has sales. Xtool, Creality, everybody's got sales. So I'm just going to put up an image comparing all the prices of these lasers for you so you can pause it, ponder it, and move on. Which of these lasers am I going to use as my like primary laser going forward? Not only did I want to answer the question for you guys on which laser was best for you, I kind of wanted to answer it for me. Now, I know that I have the luxury of having all three of these lasers here, and I can just change my mind if I want to. But I still wanted to make the decision and who knows, maybe I will sell off these other two lasers. So I just have one. It's not like I have infinite shop space. So I need a larger area because of the types of things I build. I do a lot of armor and I want to have the space to do so. The Wii Crate's awesome, but it has the smallest bed size out of these three. It's still fine for almost everybody else except for me. So that's the first to go as far as uh, hierarchy in the shop. It is now low laser on the totem pole for me because of the space factor. Now the Vision also sits between these other two lasers in price and has a lot of the cool polished features that the X-Tool has, including great rotary attachment options and autofocus. So if that is your path, rotary stuff mainly, we create's got you covered. Each of these lasers has something unique to offer, but I've decided to move the Xtool S1 into that top spot. The uh, simplicity and speed I get with the Falcon 2 Pro, along with its camera for quick prototyping, made it actually a really, really hard choice. But I do know that people like Arl Design Innovations have created camera kits for the S1 that I'll probably look into. Uh, I'll leave a link to their Etsy store in the description of my video, so you can go check that out if that interests you. Now, despite my final choice here, I do think that all three of these lasers are fantastic in their own way. If I had any of these three and never laid eyes on the other two, I'd be quite happy with what they add to my workshop. And honestly, as far as the space concerns of the weak rate, I would have just built my patterns around the size of the weak rate. When breaking down these three lasers, I think that if you have the extra money and want the utmost precision and quality, 
The X tool is hard to argue against. If you want to save a bunch of money, the Creality Falcon 2 does a wonderful job and has been my main laser here for a while. It's just a little more munitions grade, but you get what you pay for. And lastly, if you want a laser that is innovative, easy to use and compact with great rotary options, the WeCreate Vision could be your choice. Also, because the WeCreate Vision's compact form, lovely software, autofocus feature, I think it would be a great laser for schools and kids. Supervised kids, obviously. As I was saying earlier, be sure to check out any of my affiliate links listed below. And if you have any feedback on this video, maybe a laser that I missed or something you want to say about lasers in general, post it in the comments down below. We can talk about it. Also, be sure to check out the Dark Horse Workshop, Discord server, Patreon, website, all that jazz. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.